have a lot of ladybugs. <laughs> Okay, so we've got a bit of a problem. Um, I was watching the Big Family Homestead video recently about their infestation problem, and uh, we have a similar problem ourselves. Um, we have a lot of ladybugs uh, coming into our house. It's harvest time, and what that means when you live in a rural area surrounded by soybeans and corn and forests is, uh, well, specifically the soybeans and corn, uh, when they're harvesting them, the ladybugs need to find a new place to live. So they move in with us. Um, so <laughs> we have been vacuuming ladybugs. We've been um, we've been squishing ladybugs, which is stinks. Um, we have been catching ladybugs where we can. We've been shooing them outside. And uh, now um, I think I came up with a method that is going to work much better um, basically what I do is I take a a bottle and I go up and actually capture these ladybugs I don't know if you can see them there but we've got ladybugs crawling all over our light here they especially like lights um, they're flying all over on our ceilings above where lamps are and we're constantly killing these things so um, I there's a couple things you can do. Um, I have not done any of the preventative measures so far because I've been too busy, but I'm going to. So, one of the first things you can do is you can take permethrin and spray it on your outside walls and entrances and doorways. Permethrin is basically a um, bug repellent. It's the same stuff that you use when you're spraying clothing uh, for hunting or camping situations, uh, one of the one of the things you can do um, if you want to save a lot of money on on bug repellent for clothing is you actually go um, you go to like the farm supply store and you look in the veterinary section or the bug repellent section or whatever they call it, um, and you go grab um, concentrated permethrin. You take that concentrated permethrin and you mix it down. So what I would recommend is usually in the same aisle they're going to have bottles of um, just empty spray bottles and they're going to have measurements right on them. And so you can look at your concentrated permethrin that's going to cost you about 12 bucks and then you use your bottle that's maybe going to cost you between one and three dollars and um, you mix up the right amount of permethrin to, um, to water and then you use that spray bottle to spray whatever you need to protect against bugs. But anyway, right now we're talking about ladybugs and flies. Flies get around here too uh, when the harvest starts. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you a quick example of, of one method of taking care of ladybugs and flies. Now what I have here is I have a bottle and this looks really disgusting right now um, because I have been catching ladybugs and flies like crazy with this. What I did is I just put a little bit of water in here um, and then I, I put a little bit of dish soap in it and that breaks the surface tension of the water and allows you to um, catch the ladybugs and they won't stick to the top surface, they'll just kind of fall down in a lot of times. So it kills them really fast um, and they're not going to be escaping out and everything because the surface tension is not there. Now what you want to do is when you see a ladybug, you just kind of, you try to knock it into the bottle and that one did not work well. We're going to make a second attempt here. Um, you are looking at my ceiling right now and you can see that ladybug and I just kind of slide it over and it fell down and you capture it. So 
same with this one. Slide it over. And you capture it. And those ladybugs end up right in here and they'll die in no time. Now, other methods that you can do as a, it's kind of a natural pest control in your house, uh, you can also take one of these bottles and what you want to do is actually cut off the top of this bottle and turn it upside down so it's like a funnel almost so it's going down into the water um, then you use a similar method to what we use down below but now instead of putting instead of putting soapy water in there you want to put sugar water and that's going to attract things like flies and other insects like that so if you're having problems with flies getting in your house in the fall because of uh, you know harvest time and everything um, you, you make that little funnel and and the thing is with flies is they have they have trouble um, flying straight up so when you have a funnel then they're going to try to fly to the side and they're not going to be able to get out of the bottle eventually they're going to rest in the water and um, die from from drowning in the water um, so it's a it's a easy cheap method of taking care of some of the pests that may come into your house when you live um, when you live in a place with a lot of harvest going on so hope that helped somebody out there um, I especially like this method of just catching the bugs uh, uh, what we found is that uh, throughout the day there's a uh, more and more bugs appear. Every time we, we get rid of all the ladybugs in the house, we see them and we go around and catch them and then there's a bunch more. Um, so by by catching them though, um, at least all these ones are no more. And uh, then we can move on to the new additions to our household as they come in and take care of those as well. Be sure to like and subscribe and hit that Watch more videos!